Hey guys, I'm down here at Sunshine Apartments, the motel conversion. It's February 2nd, I believe today. Just want to do a quick update video of the property. Give you guys a little tour of the property real quick too. So I am out here today. I got the roof done on the main building, both the back and the front side. This is building two and that roof's also done which is great. We got to still work on the garage roof and the storage area. We got our mailbox posts in, which is nice. We'll be hanging 40 mailboxes on that thing here soon. Uh, we got a water softener and um, some instant water heaters that I want to check on real quick. All right, we have uh, a well on the big building, which is actually kind of nice, saves us money, but we got this water softener and we just had it installed i want to check the salt and holy cow not much has been used at all which is amazing all right we got these two instant hot water heaters that we stuck in this place and then we have this big i'm assuming that's a hundred gallon tank to store it all and then on the inside of the hallway i'm going to show you that next all right they come through the wall into this chase we have the chase on the lower level between the front and the back of the building. There's a firewall, there's another chase, there's a firewall, there's another chase. There's two firewalls, three chases. And the water comes out and it gets into these lines that run parallel all the way down to the other side of the building. And then there's a pump that circulates the water. And the cool thing about this is, is this pipe's hot. And once this gets below a certain temperature, I think it's set to uh, maybe 115 or 120, um, it'll kick on and it'll circulate the water through these two pipes, making it to where there's hot water all throughout the building at all times. Now think of this, think if there wasn't the circulator pump and you were all the way on the other side of the building and you turned on the hot water, how long it would have to take for the hot water to heat up all the pipes going all the way down. In this approach, and there's both sides, one for upstairs, one for downstairs, it keeps the hot water circulating throughout the building. So when you turn the faucet on in the shower, you have hot water instantly. It's a really, really cool thing. I didn't know nothing about this until uh, we bought this motel and converted it. It's just kind of a cool little thing that I learned along the way. So in this chase is really where we uh, tackle all of the electrical and plumbing to get to all of the units. And there's electrical panels um, spaced out down the hall, you know, six, seven, eight of them in each chase. And then sometimes you have to rip a wall out to redo stuff. This unit here has actually been received. Cabinets were, we ripped out a bathroom right here, which is sweet. Um, and we'll be putting in a kitchen on this unit here. So there's some of the materials. We also ran the building with a mesh Wi Fi network. And I have six of these in this building spaced out about every 30 yards, maybe even 20 yards. Um, and then three in the other building, so I have nine total. And I brought my uh, Starlink, Elon Musk's satellite internet down with me. So we're gonna install that and provide uh, satellite internet along with solar panels so it's gonna be kind of a neat project this entire property runs on these on propane and it's just for the hot water heaters it has this sensor on it so when the tank gets below 40% or maybe 30% the company automatically comes out and refills the tank we need to clean all this trash up next to our dumpster here um, and that does the hot waters the two instants here in the holding container and the circulator pumps push the water all the way down the whole building over here we have electric water heaters. All right, here's the plan. Here's the building plan. Here's building two. Kind of what we were envisioning with this top one looks like studios with kitchens and we're gonna have one bed, one bath layouts. We'll take side-by-side -side units and uh, rip out a bathroom, put a kitchen in and have a door. So it'll be kitchen, family room, bedroom, bathroom. And then we also have about three or four of these two bed, two baths, where the kitchen will be the middle unit that's ripped out, kitchen, family room, and then bed and bath on each side. 
And then there's also additional units on the floor plan that are already two beds. So second floor, and you can see that the layout's kind of kind of a little different on those. So you got two beds and a bath in the middle on those there. And that whole second floor back is twos. So it's actually gonna be probably about 10 two beds. Seven of them, eight, six of them or seven of them will be two bed, one bath, and then we'll have about three or four of these two bed, two baths. All right, we're up on the front side of the building one, first floor, and this is actually gonna be, it's gonna be 1209, it's the middle unit, because this is one of the two twos. So kitchen, we're waiting on countertops, floors are in, paint looks good, we're missing a little trim and some cleaning, but it looks awesome. And then this side will be bedroom bath. Bathrooms are done on this one, nice. Oh, look at that. So we got new vanity, mirror, lights, new flooring. We got the new toilets. We're gonna have to clean the tubs up. And then are we gonna use the surround on these, Steve? So we're gonna use a new surround on that to make it look nice and clean. And then just finish up the trim and the rest of the paint, but it looks great. New fan, hell yeah. Uh, this is great. Closets, we're just keeping the same as what they had in the uh, old style, just for simplicity. And then we bought 40 of these new air conditioners. So yeah, if they look good and clean, keep them, but that one's pretty old and dated. We'll swap that one out. New ceiling fans. Right We're in the here. process of painting the doors. Steve, we should probably paint the inside of these doors too. White. Are we doing white? Okay, perfect. Yeah, this kitchen's awesome. We got these great appliances. All electric in the building, no gas. And then the countertops are coming. I think these are soft clothes, they are. This is awesome. So then, we have another bedroom on this side. Bedroom here, with the bath and closet. Same with the bath, so I need to clean that one up. We got brand new windows ordered. Those will be here in about two weeks for the whole entire project. Cut this parking lot in half. And the lease should be coming back today. They're gonna move those boulders there down to the end of this lot. And this whole lot's ours. We own this whole lot, but we're leasing that chunk of highway frontage to this RV dealer next door for I think 500 a month. It's not a ton of money, but we don't need that big ass parking lot. And then once it gets warmer, we're gonna redo all this. Seal coat it, make it look pretty, and put in new new parking lines. Make the parking actually perpendicular to the building, not on an angle. Fit more spots. It's coming along. Uh, we don't have the doors painted on this side. Doesn't look like. But on this side we do, and they look really nice. The doors are all painted black. Not on the upstairs yet, but it's gonna look really nice. We're gonna paint the shutters and the HVAC casings black which is gonna be really, really nice. All right, building two. Still got two people living in it. I'm gonna vacate it. It's already been demoed except for those two units. It's coming together. No door paint on this side quite yet. This middle area will be grass with some park benches or picnic tables. We'll need to do some work on our roof on that building, but it's coming together. Certainly it is coming together. Property, if you hear in this, call the number and we're gonna speak if it's inherited. Oh, the property.